This is Samantha again from Glassfield Polymer. Um, today, uh, welcome to our week one of case studies that um, we will give you a little bit of um, information of how we make certain projects. And uh, this case studies that uh, we are going to present to you guys will be a real life situation that is happening um, to our customers. We get approval from them to share some of the knowledge to you guys. So um, we're going to start off with um, the first case study that we want to show you, which is um, the KW hand shower. KW is our customers who is majoring in bathroom accessories and also products that are related to kitchen, um, like faucets and uh, also hand showers, bidets, um, the spray that you always see in um, the bathroom. So what happens was they wanted to have a new series of a hand shower. So um, after collecting some information, they wanted to have a hand shower that is um, big in design, that's more sleek, it looks slim, and also it has a bigger face. So what happens to our R&D team is we started off with uh, draft designs, uh, which is in a 2D and also a 3D through SOLIDWORKS. We run through a series of simulation to understand what sort of a um, nice surface that we are we try to achieve according to the, um, the customer's requirement. Customer wants the, the material of it to be really be able to chrome and also it has um, the capability to be in multi-colors. Therefore, um, we came out with a prototype first this is the 3D printed prototype that uh, we produce to our customers. The 3D printed prototype is basically um, purely 3D printed um, using our 3D printer. We had a black material because uh, we also would like to see how the black color show up in um, the actual product. And um, through that, uh, we gave them a, f a chance to have a touch and feel like how does it feel like when you shower and um, how does it look like when it's actually on the holder in the bathroom itself. So all this gave us a very clear idea of how it looks and feel. And after that, what happens was um, upon the approval, the mold is made. This is a two cavity mold. Um, this two cavity mold, the reason because we wanted to keep our cost lower because um, the run rate of this product is actually quite high. One of the key points that, the, um, that the, this particular uh, product is they want it to be really lightweight and um, also uh, they want it to be really lightweight. Another plus point that they want also with will be um, it has to have this um, feeling of um, really posh and uh, more glamour um, on this product. Therefore, we actually put in um, um, a triangular uh, patterns onto this one and we think that um, this fits um, customers requirement as well and customer like it really really much and for this particular product we make it really really light and also minimal assembly so that customers um, do not have to go through a very tedious assembly process and absolutely it will be um, leak free at the site so this is a two cavity uh, two molds per se and uh, it's screw tight. Of course, there will be an O-ring around it so that uh, we can make sure that there is no water leak. But for this example, uh, my O-ring is not there. But however, um, this is the examples that um, the customer wanted us. So um, this is the mold, um, this is a T0 product that uh, came out from the mold. Uh, we, we chose a white color base and also the face we gave a tinge of a light gray color. And this color comes out really fit what we were expecting. We really like how the triangular um, came up with as per the design in the drawing. However, for this part, uh, we don't really see it. So it's just pure look and feel. Um, and we really like this very much. Um, one of the requirements also, the holes has to be really, really small so that there is slight pressure asserted to the material and the mat uh, to the water. So during shower, there is a light massage to it. So even though this is a very simple mold that we are doing, um, we have put in a lot of thoughts about how this uh, product is supposed to be made. 
and um, uh, to move these things further because we wanted to make it to um, another level where they said they wanted to chrome it we want to see whether the chrome is actually nice so what we do is we actually spray chrome this particular product our R&D departments have uh, spray chrome this into um, a, a look and feel and to see whether it actually fits the bill as well whether the customer likes it and um, the customers find that it's really really nice um, with this and therefore we proceed on with um, the full chrome which is the actual um, electro plating. Um, electro plating has this advantage of it not being able to, uh, it will not corrode over time, it's actually very lasting and uh, it came out with the effect of a mirror uh, which you can see um, it's really really um, in a mirror mode and um, it's very high gloss and we really like it. Throughout the face we uh, also encounter some problems with um, opening up this particular product because um, with the o-ring attached it's really really difficult for us to go in so what we do is um, we actually modify some of the designs over here by adding some innovations over here so that it's easier for us to open it up um, because we need that ergonomic way to open up for assembly process so i hope you like this product and um, we love it very much uh, we're really proud of it and um, we hope that this sells. Um, if let's say you have similar inquiries or similar thoughts about doing a bathroom accessories, we have been working with bathroom industry for a very, very long time. And if you think that this is something that you would like to proceed on, do check it out, um, give us comments, and also give us your ideas about what uh, can be also done uh, through injection molding. And um, hope to see you again in the next case studies.